For question number six of the final exam, we were given a CMOS pair. K is given, VT is given, and we are asked if we apply zero volts to the input of this pair. Right here, at the gate of the end transistor, what is the output? What is the current flowing through? And what is the state of each one of the two transistors? This is question six of the final exam. There is a CMOS pair. The K is given, the VT is given, five volts are applied up here, and the input is different for each one of the three parts of the question. For part A, we apply zero volts as input, and we need to compute what is the output voltage here, and what is the current flowing through the drain source paths of both transistors, a P transistor, and an N transistor. We realize that if this voltage is zero, that voltage is also the gate source voltage of the N transistor. If that is zero, that transistor is in cutoff mode. That signifies that the drain current of that transistor is zero, but that is the same drain current of the other transistor. In the other transistor, the source gate voltage, this one, is 5 volts, and that is more than the VT, 1 volt. That means that this transistor cannot be cut off, this voltage. The, the source gate is more than the VT. There is a conduction channel in this P transistor. It's not cut off. But then you say, wait a minute, it's not cut off, but the current is null, right? Yeah, it's null because this other end transistor is cut off. Well, but what gives? What is the mode of operation of the P transistor? It has to be in triode. That is the only possible conclusion. It's not cut off, but the current is zero. It's in triode mode. We know the current. We know the formula to compute that current that depends on the voltage between the source and the drain. We use that formula to determine that voltage. Source drain to determine this voltage here. And with that voltage there, we determine the output of voltage. We solve that and get that the only possibility for that triode transistor to have a null current is for this voltage. S D to be zero. What is the interpretation of that? V out is five. That is what it means. The output voltage is five. Mm, so we have all the answers we needed for this part. V out is five. The current through is zero amps. P MOS is triode mode. The N uh, MOS, there is a typo here, is in cutoff mode. We're done with part A. Let's repeat the exercise with a different input value. For bar B, the input is 5 volts, here at the gate of the end transistor. Hmm, if we apply 5 volts here, is that 5 volts here and these 5 volts there, is that produces a symmetrical situation between both transistors. You realize that? This is a P transistor and this is higher than the gate by 5, this is an N transistor, and this is lower than the gate by 5. Symmetry! And if that's symmetric, that means that this voltage, source and drain, or drain source, those are going to be exactly the same. They have to be half the total voltage, 2.5 volts. Mm, we have found almost what we wanted, V out. V out is 2.5, of course. What about the current? Well, the current, let's first determine what is the mode of operation of the transistor so we can use those voltages to compute the current. Uh, the solution is they are either in saturation mode or in triode. Let's find out. Hmm. For the PMOS, the transistor on the top, the P transistor, the source a gate voltage is 5, is more than VT, all right, um, but the source drain voltage, 2.5, is less than the overdrive voltage, which is 4. So, this P transistor is in triode mode. 
For the same reason, the endmost transistor is also in triode mode. Then we can use the triode formula for the current to determine what is the current in either of the transistors, one half k, the overdrive voltage, which is four, minus 2.5 divided by two times 2.5. Do the computation, the current is 13.8 milliamps. Let's see what we have. We have everything. We know the output voltage is 2.5. We know that both transistors are in triode mode, and we know what is the current drain source in both transistors. We're done with part B. Let's have a look at part C. In part C, once again, we are given a different input voltage, this time 3 volts. The same questions. Hmm, 3 volts here. The gate is higher than the source by 3 volts. Uh -huh. In the P-transistor, we continue to have the situation uh, that the gate is lower than the source by 5 volts. So this situation is asymmetric. Well, asymmetric, but in either case, uh, the GS voltage in both is greater than 1 volt VT. So that means that neither of them is in cutoff. There is current flowing. Hmm, uh, that's right. So there is a channel of conduction in each one of those transistors. Let's see. For the P transistor, uh, the source gate voltage is 5. Vt is 1, the overdrive voltage is 5, minus 1, 4 volts. That is for the P transistor. Uh -huh. That means that if the P transistor is going to be in saturation, this voltage source drain has to be more than 4 volts. This voltage more than 4. Uh -huh. For the N transistor, same deal. For the N transistor, the gate source is 3 volts, this one, gate source is 3 volts, so the overdrive voltage is 3 minus 1, 2 volts only. So for the entrance transistor to be in saturation mode, this voltage source and brain has to be more than the overdrive, more than 2. So check it out. For the P to be in saturation, this voltage up here, VSDP has to be more than 4. For the N to be in saturation, this VDSN has to be more than 2. Hmm. This is going to be taking 4 out of 5? I don't think so. Uh, that's going to be pretty unlikely. So I would go in saying that the P transistor actually is not saturated, is in um, triode mode. And instead, because of the difference of the voltage, I would say that the transistor at the bottom end is saturated. If I'm wrong, I will have to recompute the thing, but I think logics uh, drive me in that direction. Let's see. If I assume that the end transistor is saturated, I can use this formula to compute its current. Mm -hmm. The current here, which is the current in both transistors, is one half K times the overdrive voltage, and the overdrive voltage in the N transistor is 2. So that current is 4 milliamps. Ah, 4 milliamps. Fine, you find the current. Well, under your assumption at least, what about the output of voltage? Well, for the output voltage, we use that current, 4 milliamps, and the triode formula for the P transistor like so. Just to compute what is the voltage VSDB, this voltage here between the five voltage, uh, voltage, blah, the five volt power supply and the output node. We solve that equation, which is quadratic. We have two solutions: 7.5 and 0 0.5. Of course, this cannot be 7.5. I have only five volts in the power supply, so the solution is 0 0.536. That is this uh, voltage. And then V out is just 5 minus that voltage is 4.46 uh, volts. Hmm, I think we have all the answers we needed. We know that the P transistor is in triode mode, the N transistor is in saturation mode. We know what is the current in them, 
4 milliamps and we also have the output voltage 446 volts and with that we have completed the question thank you very much